Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Yeah? Oi, we got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. <laughs> no. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Who the hell's... Oh, hello. Hmm. Now what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I like anything you spitting. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? On second thought, up close, she looks old. What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm. I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Oh! Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Dang! Blah, blah, blah. Go on a date. That's why you need Max Charisma, boys. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Did we just hook up? Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry. I have to go. You take care. Damn. What? No. It can't. It, 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 it's you. Oh my god. Sanctuary Hills, right? Wait. Are you from Vault Tech? I am Vault Tech. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? Blood of my enemies. <laughs> the vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Well... If you didn't become a ghoul, you'd be dead because you'd be over 200 years old. Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy can't and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us, but no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault Tech. They just left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know... You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. 
No commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. I think we ought to talk. Oh, he admires me now. Have a little chat. What's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. Gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. Then one day you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world with such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do, putting on the hat and trench coat, and I figured it let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant, when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't gonna hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. I do what's needed. Well, you certainly seem to judge doing good pretty high on your list of necessities. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Hey. Go on. Nick. Something to get off your chest? 
Your thoughts? We'll make something out of the Commonwealth yet. Is everything all right between us? I'd say we're pretty darn good, considering what we're up against. But there's always more good to be done. That was all I had. Got it. His outfit didn't change, though. Usually when they admire you, your outfit changes. Look, oh man. What a good day. We got a little, our first Commonwealth hookup. We got a little bit of Nick's backstory. Uh, I hope he... Red, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day? I hope we wrapped it up because... I don't know if we're dipping our thing into a pile of radiation <laughs> there. <laughs> if it's considered I that. You walk that free of train. What, some kind of, what is Dippin' and sippin'. Alright, now she's back at work, I guess we can grill her now. We got what we needed though. Enjoy your stay. Hello, you remember me from last night? Whoa, now that is some armor. Hey, Magnolia. Something I can do for you, handsome? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. There's something else I can help you with? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure, I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? Do you know where I can find her? I guess that depends on why you're looking for her. Her family hired me to find out what happened to her. Well, I suppose it won't hurt to tell you. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Who the hell is Ham? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Entertainment down the stairs. All right, so we got the address. That's Boogie. Let's... Do like a banana and split here. Fine, Imogene Abbott. After we get done the side quest, we're gonna proceed on with the main mission. I think because we're gonna be playing with the Brotherhood of Steel. That's who I turned my thing into. We'll probably pick up Palvin Dance again. Here to learn about our movie. Hi. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but. Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. This guy is not easy on the eyes at all. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. 
She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. That sounds like she is being held prisoner. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Few words with the lady and we'll be out of your hair. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You really think that's the best way to play this? Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. Welcome. It's a trap. It's a trap. I should just shoot you and take the key. She's escaped. Not sure we want to see whatever kind of performances go on here now. all yours neighbor we don't have anything to talk about be a lot more pleasant without that thing shining in our faces just not in here i feel bad tracking my muck through this place All right, so I looked it up. She's actually supposed to spawn right here when the door opens, and it's actually a known glitch that's going on in the game right now. So there's really nothing I can do about it. So we're just, uh, this 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 side quest was actually interesting though. So kind of sad. So hopefully, eventually, they'll fix the bug on it, or there'll be a workaround. So we're gonna go hand in this one quest that we have, this butcher's bill quest, and then we're gonna move on to a main mission. We have to go back to the Minutemen headquarters though.